This video will explore the history of part of the current inner link road from Barn Road, including what was once called Station Road, and then to St Crispin's Road, looking at what was lost with reference to parts of St Martin's Lane and Quaker Lane. This is looking across the dual carriageway at the beginning of Barn Road. The nearer carriageway was all that existed in 1938. These houses built on what's now the other carriageway and backing on to the old city wall. This is the city wall looking up towards Grapes Hill with this being the 1946 equivalent following war damage. Looking in the opposite direction, this is what we see in 2023. The equivalent view of 1939 of what was 55 to 59 Barn Road. The entrance towards the right of the photo was Cooper's Yard. Slightly further along, this is the current view. The building on the right of this photo is still seen on the right of this photo from 1939. This may have been part of the Rosenthistle pub which closed in 1932. The archway led through to Baldry's Yard. Looking back at the Hayham Street Junction looks like this in 2023 and had looked like this around 1900. The railings on the right of the photo are part of Hayham Street schools seen on the left of this photo looking from Westwick Street with the city station in the background. This is the 2023 equivalent view and this map shows the layout also indicating the name as Station Road. The original bridge across the river is the southern one of the two we see today dating from 1882. This is the current view of that carriageway. The eastbound carriageway had not been built in 1967 with these houses then standing in the way of that development. These are two of the houses as seen in 1937 which stood about where that van is now turning. Opposite this ten-sided structure is the oldest concrete toilet in the UK dating from 1919 and having listed building status. This is where Station Road ended with a T-junction at Oak Street with the railway arms situated opposite Station Road and seen here in 1936. This would be replaced by the Fellmongers pub in 1938 which itself would be closed in 1967 to allow the construction of the inner link St Crispin's Road. At this point we'll go into St Martin's Lane which itself was affected by the creation of St Crispin's Road. This is St Martin's Lane and this is the 2023 view of what was once the entrance to Quaker's Lane which ran from here across the present day inner link as far as Jenkins Lane on Oak Street. These are numbers 3 to 5 Quaker's Lane as seen in 1936 and all would disappear under the inner link road with the remainder of Quaker's Lane now around half its original length continuing on the other side. Back on St Martin's Lane, this property was not affected by the inner link but is of interest to pub historians. Number 47 was the Pineapple Pub from 1806 until it closed in 1938. It's seen here on the left of this picture together with the rest of St Martin's Lane, now a cul-de-sac, but as we shall see only because of the development of St Crispin's Road. At this point in St Martin's Lane I believe stood this building described as the entrance to the Quaker Cemetery in St Martin's Lane. I can't definitively say this is where it was however this map shows in yellow where I believe this building was with a footpath crossing the current St Crispin's Road to the cemetery marked in green. This may be the other end of that footpath and this is the cemetery. Now is that gate the same one as shown in the photo shown a moment ago. If you can help with any of these questions, please add to the comments. From this point, I can be a bit more definitive. On the left was Cook's Hospital, originally built in Rose Lane in 1692 and transferred here, St Martin's Lane, in 1892. Next door, heading towards the current St Crispin's roundabout, were numbers 9 to 11, and opposite were numbers 6 to 12. On the left of this photo you can see the end of the road which would become the site of the St Crispin's roundabout. 
This is St Crispin's Roundabout, looking back at where St Martin's Lane once ended as it came straight through St Mary's House. This is the equivalent view from 1962 with Butcher's Yard through that arch. Looking at the roundabout from a slightly different angle would reveal St Martin's Lane on the right of this photo with the Flower in Hand pub which had closed in 1965 just before its demolition. Looking north across the roundabout looks like this, but in 1936 this was part of Pitt Street with Ely's Yard, Pelican Yard and Cherry Lane all in view. From a different angle this photo, again from 1936, shows the entrance to Cherry Lane on the left, Pelican Yard is in the centre and the former Pelican Pub which closed in 1867 to the right of it. Thanks for watching.